What's up, everybody? It's me again. It's your girl, River. I'm back again with another video. If you're new here, my name's River, and I'm here to give you guys my reaction to this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and just press play so you guys can see what this video is about, and then I want to give you guys my reaction after. Okay, so as you can see, um, let me play the let me play the audio one more time because it was so quick. So just in case you guys missed it because it was, you know, she's talking a little bit loud or because she's talking a, a little bit fast, I'm gonna play it one more time. Okay, so this woman says, as it says on the screen, that if a man goes a whole day without talking to you, like she said, if he doesn't check on you, if he's not, you know, uh, actively sending you messages, then he is just not that into you. You know, you're just not that girl. He don't like you like that. The first thing I want to address is why are you so angry about this? <laughs> why are you so upset? Okay that's the first thing I want to know. I don't know if, if there was an issue in the beginning of this conversation, you know, I don't know if she's a little triggered because maybe somebody is upset with her. I don't know what the issue is, but I just want to know why you so mad. Why are you yelling at us? <laughs> okay. Moving on. I don't understand. I'm going to continuously say this. Why people make these broad statements that could be true, could sometimes be true, but is not a tell a telling sign of if a man is into you or not. A lot of these things are just extras, right? Extras, possibly signals, but could os possibly also mean other things. And when I say that, wh why I'm saying that is because there's a lot of men who you say that you want. A lot of women say they want to be in relationships with them. A lot of them say they want to get flued out. They want to be taken care of. They don't want to have to work after they have children. You know, they don't want um, to have to bear any financial burden. But then you want a man that is, always is available to call you. The irony. <laughs> like the irony of the situation, like you want a man who is going to financially provide for you, but then you want him to respond to every text message on time answer every phone call, sit up on the phone with you. Like, you know, I, well, I was just trying to figure out what you doing. You know, I was trying I, Hey baby, I was, I was trying to figure out what you up to, you know? No, a lot of times women do, um, what, what, what is a word I would use? I want to use the right word choice. A lot of times women um, encounter great men, men that are husband material, men that would be great fathers, men that would be the ideal man that they always think of in their mind. They encounter them and then they mess it up with foolishness. Where does most of the foolishness stem from, you ask? Well, yes, I will tell you, <laughs> most of the foolishness stems from the group chats with the homegirls telling you stuff like this. Well, you know, yeah, girl, oh, I met this guy and he's just so nice. And, you know, he checks off everything on my list and he is just the greatest guy. And, you know, but I text him this morning and I haven't got a response back. Y'all think that's weird? Yeah, girl, he ain't into you. If he ain't texting you, he texting somebody else. Uh-uh, girl. Yeah, you're not the one for him because if he was really on you like that, you wouldn't have to be asking us no questions. Uh-uh, girl. Yeah. Wasting time talking to people, asking other people questions. Wasting time looking around to see if there's a problem before the guy has even gotten a chance to even find out if he even like you like that yet. Women go into, a lot of women go into relationships looking for the problems. And more times than not is, again, I said this so many times, it's not even based off of their own experiences. Sometimes it's based off of what they've seen on TV. Sometimes it's based off of what they see their homegirls go through. Sometimes it's based off of what their mama and their granny said. 
But if you look at the reality of the situation, the only reason why you're experiencing or assuming that you're experiencing these certain things and, oh, yeah, you know, the dating pool ain't nothing, da da da, da is because you're getting in your own way. Jump into conclusions. Jump and hop in and skip into conclusions. If we want to keep it real. Y'all don't want to jump, hop, and skip for anything else. But y'all will jump, hop, and skip to a conclusion. Just so you can be a part of the narrative that the dating pool is a shallow puddle. That, you know, these, these men ain't S. You know, all these men, all they do is just play games. Nobody even got the chance to play games with you because you jumped to, to a conclusion before you guys even materialized anything in the relationship. So how do all these men play games? You don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know that men play games. Because you've been pulling all the game out. Scared that he going to pull it first on you or just because, again, you want to be a part of something in the group chat. Yeah, girl, see all these men, you know, you just want to be a part of the rhetoric. All right, girls. Yeah, we outside because these niggas playing games and da da da. You always want to say stuff like that. And just the fact that you guys even form your mouth to talk about a man that's going to be your husband, the father of your kids, and you don't see nothing wrong with calling him the N word. Like, why is it on social media across the board? Like, women have no problem being like, oh, yeah, that's my end. Oh, he's my end. Oh, da 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 But if you get into an argument with a man outside who don't know you like that and he call you the B word, you want to square up. You want to go get somebody. You want to go get somebody to come um, fight your battle for you. Why? Why? Why is that Okay. It's like, it's like the whole link. It's like it comes with a whole persona. Like you call guys the N-word like, oh, yeah, we outside because, you know, they ain't this and N, N's ain't S and this and this. And you have this whole thing about you in the group chat. Yeah, girl, let's just go to brunch and, you know, because I'm tired of, you see the shoulders, because I'm tired of the, it's a whole, it's a whole like persona. That you just want to be a part of that you you it makes you feel like you're a part of like a crew or like a group or like the cool squad. If you just get into a, a an arena and have given have an opportunity again, encounter a man and just complain about him and make you feel good like it, make, it makes you feel cool. I don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. I'm not gonna lie. I've never been that girl. I'm, I'm just not gonna lie. I've never been that girl. I don't get it. Now, of course, if a man is interested in you, he is going to, people will always make time for what they deem important to them, to the people they deem important to them. You know what I'm saying? Or to, you know, situations. But why are we acting like men can't be busy? And you know what's going to happen? This man is going to, he's probably busy working, doing whatever it is. You text him at 8 a.m. Because he didn't text you back in a 12-hour time span, you done moved on. So now when he finally texts you and says, hey, you know, I'm sorry I was so busy with work. I didn't even in, give him a chance to see this. You know, we should link up on this day or whatever when I'm free. Let me know what your schedule is. Oh, no, I'm not going to text him back for two to three days because I got to let him know that I'm not going to be available only when he's available. It's foolishness. Do you want a man or no? Do you want a relationship or no? Do you want to be happy or no? If you want to just hang out with your homegirls and be free for the summer, just say that. You don't have to jump through all these little hoops because you're trying to be, you know, the one that's in control with the mind games and you're trying to be the one that can. It doesn't make sense. Genuinely, it doesn't make any sense. So if women think, oh, yeah, every man who doesn't go the whole day, every time, right? This man could not text you one time for the day and you already assuming that he doing something. Or you're already assuming that he talking to somebody else. Or you already assuming that the reason why he couldn't answer you is because he laid it with somebody else. This isn't weeks. 
This isn't days. Uh, this isn't months. This woman says, if a man can go a whole day, yeah, one day, he don't like you like that. It don't make sense to me. I'm sorry. Enlighten me in the comment section. Enlighten me. If you think I'm tripping, let me know. Okay. Be like, no, River, you know, she right. You know, because for me, it don't make sense. And I also think that a lot of these women who say stuff like this or who assume this are just, it's like you're sitting down twiddling your, your thumbs and you don't have nothing to do. So you check in your phone every couple of minutes or however long because you don't have anything to do. So you're confused why he's so busy that he can't text you. You know, women who are also on their road to being the best version of themselves, waking up, you know, they have a schedule for the day. They have their calendar they abide by. They got to wake up, go to the gym, make sure they eat, you know, their um, acai bowls. That's me. Um, make sure they eat their, you know, smoothie, smoothie bowls. Make sure that they're, you know, on top of the things that they need to do for the day. Make sure that, you know, their home, their house is clean, laundry's done, dinner's cooked, kitchen's clean, relax for a little bit. You know, women who are doing that, the time flies by so fast, they forgot that you didn't even text them. They're like, oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, I, I, I did text you this morning, didn't I? Oh, yeah, that's cool. You was at work. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So you you want to, are you free now to talk? What's the problem with that? What's the problem with that? Again, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. I want to know. I want to know your opinions, your feelings in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.